follow my socials. Hi, beautiful people. August 3rd, Vinland Saga. Historical drama with action and war. Yeah! Light spoilers. Yeah. The way they introduce the world they live in is quite interesting. There's no moment of exposition that's purely, hey, I'm going to do this, but you have no difficulty seeing the character's motivations. I personally know nothing about that part of history, so I have no idea of how realistic it is, but it felt believable. The weight of the episode makes me think it's going to be a war, but then again, I don't know where they're going with this, so maybe not. And it all points to the main character in this episode not being the main character in the rest of the series, which is in the very least interesting as far as storytelling goes. It didn't feel like something bad at all, but it did feel like it's going to take a little longer to get to the more interesting parts. If you're interested in Vikings, it should be interesting, but let the rocks roll. The way they started with the guy's family and boom, war, was very effective to me. The idea they seem to be trying to get across, which is the main character's perspective, is that war is not something pleasant, and it's not something you win, it's something you survive. So to me, it worked really well. The way they show how people lived in that village was well done enough that I didn't really feel it dragging. But of course, by the end of the episode, I notice how little things actually happen. Which means to me, this anime is not necessarily going to be boring, but you will have to have some patience to see it. It's not a matter of not knowing how to do things. That war in the beginning was really well done. I loved seeing the character jumping boat to boat like Unit 2. But it's not an action series with some drama. It's a drama series with some action. But that's it. What did you think of this episode? Leave it in the comments and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. And if you enjoyed it, please like, share with your friends, subscribe and don't forget the bell.